Preparing for first flight on Mars, making a splash with Orion, and the space station's next crew prepares for launch. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. Our Ingenuity Mars helicopter was the focus of a March 23rd briefing at our Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. The Ingenuity team is targeting no earlier than April 8th for this technology demonstration to make the first attempt at powered controlled flight of an aircraft on another planet. We use drones and helicopters here on Earth for all sorts of things that they're more suitable for than land-based vehicles, right? So you can just imagine being able to have that same capability on Mars, flying around on Mars. And that could be for reconnaissance purposes, uh, taking pictures to scout out uh, areas, potential science targets for future rovers or even future astronauts. Once deployed from the Perseverance rover, Ingenuity will have 30 Martian days, equal to about one month here on Earth, to conduct its test flight campaign. Engineers at our Langley Research Center are using a test version of our Orion spacecraft for water impact testing. During the tests, the crew module is dropped into a large pool of water to learn more about what the spacecraft and astronauts inside might experience while landing in the Pacific Ocean after missions to the moon. Data from the drop tests will be used for final computer modeling for loads and structures prior to Artemis II, our first Artemis mission to the moon with astronauts. The International Space Station's next crew, including our Mark Van de High, completed pre-launch qualification exams and participated in various other activities in and around Moscow, Russia. Van de High and Oleg Novitsky and Pyotr Dubrov of the Russian space agency Roscosmos will complete their pre-flight training at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan ahead of their targeted April 9th launch to the space station. The Lockheed Martin team building our X-59 quiet supersonic technology aircraft recently merged its impinage to the wing. The impinage is the section that supports the experimental plane's engine and tail. NASA is targeting 2022 for the first demonstrations of the X-59's ability to create a soft thump during supersonic flight instead of the typically loud sonic boom. NASA has contracted California company Crystal Instruments to deliver a state-of-the-art ground recording system capable of capturing the acoustic data needed before test flights over communities around the U.S. can begin. Those flights could start as early as 2024. Data from the NASA and U.S. Geological Surveys Landsat 8 and other satellites are helping scientists identify algal blooms in lakes or rivers. These naturally occurring blooms can make these bodies of water harmful for recreational use. The Landsat 8 data is used to create a product that can help local water or recreation managers identify areas where a potential problem exists. According to a 2020 study published in the journal GeoHealth, Landsat-based detection of a 2017 bloom in Lake Utah helped save an estimated $370,000 in health care and related costs for that area. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov.